Hey guys, it's Grizzly Go here, and today we're going to dive into probably the fastest video of this series with Rook. Now, as usual, I'm reminding any new viewers to watch this video first to get a clear understanding on how to interpret these videos. I'll leave a card in the top right corner for your convenience. So, with that out of the way, on to Rook. Now, just like in our previous Pulse and Dock episodes, Rook only carries out soft indirect counters since his gadget does not directly interact with any attacker gadgets in a big way. Because all his gadget does is reduce bullet damage and guarantee downs. So, with our first counter, we have explosives like Fuse, Frags, and Claymores. If you are hit by any of these, you are guaranteed to go down, instead of being eliminated. With Claymores, this will only be helpful if the Claymore is placed indoors or on a doorway. Because if you go down on a Claymore in a window, you've jumped outside and you really have no way of getting back in. Now, as for Frags, this will either make the attackers have to use more utility to finish you off, or in the case of Floor Fragging, take more time for the attacker to find you. You do have a chance of escaping, but it is very slim. And then we have Fuse. Rook can counter Fuse in the way of a guaranteed down. But Fuse does deploy 4 mini grenades per charge. So you may survive one, but if a second one flies your way, you're out of luck. Onto the last operator that Rook counters, this is Glaz. Rook can be a royal pain in Glaz's ass. Since Glaz only has access to a semi-automatic sniper rifle, a Glaz going against the Rook will cause the sniper to deal less damage, and therefore require more shots. Now, Rook of course counters all guns in the game, but for single fire weapons like Glaz, it'll make his life much harder. Now onto our collaborations, or I should say collaboration, because Rook literally only has one collaboration, and that is with Doc. If you watched the previous video, the Doc video, you know why the pairing of these two is so amazing. Rook's plates guarantee downs and increase bullet resistance. These two factors, downs and health, benefit Doc across the board. So next time, instead of Doc or Rook, why not both? Alright guys, that's all for this super short episode of Counters and Collaborations. As usual, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, and if you have anything to say in the comments, feel free to do so. I hope to talk to you guys again soon. Take care and see you next time.